Now we, we have to solve f of x equals to 0. Let's write it down. In the second part of the problem, we asked to solve f of x equals to 0, and we asked to use the value of b equals to 6, and the value of a that we obtained in the first part, a equals to minus 14. So we asked to solve the equation x cubed plus x squared minus 14x plus 6 equals to 0. This is a cubic equation and uh, we know that this is exactly divisible by x minus 3. So let's go ahead and uh, do some long division. Follow carefully. We have x cubed plus x squared minus 14x plus 6 and we are going to divide this by x minus 3. So take your x cubed, divide by x, you will get x squared x squared times x, we'll have x cubed. x squared times minus 3, we'll have minus 3x squared. Good. Take this line minus this line, we will get x squared minus minus 3x squared will be 4x squared and bring this down, minus 14x. Take the 4x squared and divide by x, you will get plus 4x. 4x times x, we have 4x squared. 4x times minus 3, we'll get minus 12x. Take this line minus this line, we are going to get minus 2x, bring this 6 down. Now take the minus 2x and divide by x, you will get minus 2 and we will get minus 2x plus 6 and we are done. Okay, there's no more, that's the remainder is 0 because this is exactly divisible by x minus 3. So now what are we going to do? We are going to rewrite the equation fx equals to 0. We are going to rewrite this as x minus 3 times x squared plus 4x minus 2 equals to 0. Okay, so now we can go ahead and solve the equations. Yeah, okay. So now x minus 3, okay, again, x minus 3 times x squared plus 4x minus 2 equals to 0. So which means x minus 3 equals to 0, x equals to 3. We don't need this because they want. To, they want us to find the non-integer roots, okay? So we don't need this. So let's go ahead and deal with x squared plus 4x minus 2 equals to 0. So using the quadratic formula, we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus b squared will be 16 minus 4ac over 2a, okay? Uh, using the quadratic equation, uh, you can sort it out on your own. So this ends up being minus 4 plus or minus 16 plus 8 will be 24 over 2. Using a bit of search, you can write this as minus 4 plus or minus 2 square root 6 over 2. Okay? Now, we can divide this by 2 and we can write our answer as minus 2 plus or minus square root 6 and we are done.